Hi everyone, so many have asked, how do you get your light show into the USB? Where do you get them from? How many can you put? What can you do with them? And I'm gonna show you all of this on a very simple uh, way to understand it so that you can add any show that's out, around onto your USB and you will have a lot of fun. And eventually I'm gonna make my own, but that is gonna take a while. I've looked at the uh, tutorials and it's quite complex. So um, I will be looking at that at some point. I've got some great tunes I wanna make up for everyone or for myself and for everybody who will enjoy it. But let's have a look at this then. And we're gonna look at this making USB light show right now. Mal's back talking Tesla. To see the enhancements made to my Tesla and how to update yours, please subscribe to the channel and you can message me with suggestions or for help. Okay, so the two things you need is your hard drive and a PC. Now, I have also added, instead of running all my memory onto the PC, I've put everything on the backup drive. So basically I've got about 50 shows now and all of them are on the backup drive. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go in to the folders where you get these files. So there's two websites you can get it from. Everything is going to be in the description so you can check out everything I'm using and everything I'm going. So the first thing we want to do is open up my browser like so. And then in my favorites, I've got Tesla Light Show here we are, the Tesla Light Share. And it, it's called teslalightshare.io. Now that's the first one. The second one is the Tesla Light Show repository. So here we go. It says, welcome to the Tesla Light Share. Share and download custom Tesla Light Shows. And if you search for them on Facebook, there is a Facebook run page where they discuss all about the light shows. Again, I'll put a link in that for you so you can check out. Brandon is a brilliant inventor of it. He, he made the page up and done everything else. So give him a look out, say how good he is. <laughs> it's nice to talk to him. Great, so we're here. And if you look, we've got everything down here that we want. So there's the shows. I'm gonna pull up one that I haven't got, which in my case, is Babe O'Reilly. Okay, that's a great show. We're gonna put that one on. So you see it's here. And if we look, we're gonna view the show. And it's here as well. Now I, I wanna set up a folder where this is called so I can find it. And I wanna put it onto my hard drive, which is here. So first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag along here Control C, then I'm gonna go into my PC and I'm gonna look for my hard drive, which is Elements, open up Elements, and the first thing you see is nine light show clips. That's where all my clips are. So we open it up and it's done. I slide down and somewhere along the Star Wars, they're all there. If I then put in new folder, and then Control V, that is Babe O'Reilly. What we're gonna also do, that's done, is we're gonna give the credit to the creator. I always like to do that as well. So let's put this in here, John Wonderline. Control C, and I'm gonna put that into the folder. I'm gonna rename that now and add in the creator. So here we go, creator is gonna be added in. Brilliant, creator's in, he's there. Now I'm gonna open up that folder, that's what we need to do, right, let's go on. Now in this folder here where we had view files, you've got download zip and download FSQQ and download audio. What is the difference? I'm gonna explain it all. But for the moment and for simplicity, we're gonna go start with download zip. All you need to download this and extract the files is called 7-Zip. I'll add it, everything in the description, so you better find it's a free app so you can use it. So first we're gonna, now we're gonna open up the download zip. So let's do that. It goes up to the page, there it is. And we're gonna take this zip folder 
and we're going to put it into that file we just created. There it is. We'll wait for it to take it out. Now we're going to open that up using my 7-zip and we're going to extract the files here because that's where I want it in the same folder. And as you see, you've got Lightwave Show, uh, Wave and Lightwave Show FSEQ. They're the two files that you need. Now, the difference between those and what we're going to create next is these other case. And the one we're going to create is like so, watch this. So we need to make one new folder and we call that Light Show, capital L, L-I-T-H-T, capital S, H O W, that's the folder. Now we're going to drag these two into Light Show. Done. Now the next thing that's ready now, all I've got to do now is create one of these. So we're going to get a new one of these, we plug it in. Now the most important thing, the car will need to read it as FAT32. What's that all about? Well, let me show you. So that's so where are we? We're here. What we now need to do, Anytime. you're welcome, is you go to the USB I've just plugged in. First thing I want to do is name that. So we're going to call that Babe Riley. So let's just rename it. And the only reason I'm naming this drive is so that I can find it if I plug it in. So let's put it in and call this Babe. B-A-B-E. Oh. Okay, that'll do. Right, now this is where we're gonna, this is the clever bit now. This is how you need to format the drive. So you right click it from here and you scroll up and you see where it says format. And here is where we're gonna change it. At the moment, the default is fat. You can't leave it on fat, it has to change because fat won't work with a light show. The Tesla wants to see FAT32, so you click the download arrow, you've got option NTFS, FAT, FAT32 and XFAT. You want FAT32. You've got it there. Then you make sure you click this quick format ticket and then you're going to press start. It says OK, so you hit OK. And it goes green and it's done. So you press, it's format is complete. You press OK and then you close this window. Now the next thing is you go back to where we were, where we created the light show folder with its folders intact and you're going to drag it. So let's make sure we've got the window easily to show both. All right, so I'm going to drag light show into Babel. Here it goes. And we click on it. It's got the light show in there and it's got the two that we need, the WAV and the FSEQ. So the next thing we need to do is to unplug it. And you have to go down the computer here where you've got a little picture of a memory stick and you click on it, safety remove hardware. So you click on that, double click, and it says eject the U disk. So we do that, the disk is taken up and it's fine. Straight in the car and play this show now, no problem at all. Right, let's get back to why you don't wanna just download the other folders and what happens if you do download them, what you need to do to fix it to make them work. So let's go back, let's close this window, we don't need that now. Let's go back to this light show here. Right, this time I'm gonna download the FSEQ folder. So it's there, here it is. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it into my hard drive. And then I'm gonna take the audio file and I'm gonna do the same. Now, if you do this, and if sometimes, right, they're there. Now, sometimes the uh, zip folder is not there and there is only these but what you need to do now is modify them so that they will work and you don't have to modify the files you just modify the names so babo riley dot wave and babo 39 riley zip is what we got but the fsq there those two have to be modified so 
what you do is you press rename and it does it for you. It takes it right up to the dot. And all you now need to do is type in all lowercase, light show, L-I-G-H-T-S-H-O-W. That's done. And the same with the, that was the wave. And now we're gonna do the same with the FSEQ. So you right click it and then you go to rename. And then this time you type in same light show all lowercase. All you would then do is create another folder called light show. And then you do what I did before, as I showed you, showed in. And that is all you need to do to make this work. Switch on first and let's start it. And it's working now. So it's getting ready now, like loading the light show. Next thing it will say ready. And now we can accept. So let's go out. Here we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you basically can have hours of fun with your light shows. Don't forget to subscribe down below to be one of my respected followers and hit that notification bell. That way you'll get the latest video when it comes out. And I shall look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, I'll be seeing you. Thanks for watching and do tell us in the comments section that you subscribed and we can then contact you if you're the winner when the prize is drawn. Quack, quack. Oops.